Good morning everybody. Good morning grandma, grandma, and grandpa. We did not sleep at Sunset Park last night. I'll cut to the footage now. Oh, that is epic. The homeboy was sketching us out passively, aggressively, unplugged our electronics. Wasn't getting a good feeling from that area. So we're pressing on, enjoying the beautiful views. Bicycle tour at Diggory Dude Jams by Cody Orgel. So glad that we left that place. The vibe was awful. We are at a place called the Cyclist Sanctuary. It literally is a cyclist sanctuary. There's actually one tourist homeboy sleeping over there. Let me check out that internet speed. It came just in the nick of time. It has amazingly fast Wi-Fi. There's tables here. We just threw our mats on the ground in front of a beautiful bridge, a nice palm tree, sparkling water. Somebody else camped over there last night. We actually stayed up and think until like midnight or midnight 30 working on videos to get up because the internet's so fast here. I want to show you this machine over here. For only a hundred yen, green tea or like matcha lattes. I drank like three of these last night to keep me awake. I know we have these dispensers in the States for some coffee. But the ones here are just absolutely brilliant. It's only like a dollar. It's all automated, spits it out. And look at that beautiful green color. I met Nick the Brit, told me and Cody when we cycled the Shimanami Kaido, which is the, this famous chain of island route that we're cycling right now, that we would be just another tourist. And we are indeed just another tourist. Check this setup out. They've been on the road since 2008, they're from France and they just make us look like complete pansies. All it takes is a European, a hardcore European, to make an American and Australian look like losers. <laughs> what we're doing is child's play compared to 15 years going around. Imagine vlogging every day for 15 years. Cody's not having too hot of a day today. His, his MacBook Air is giving him trouble. He just wiped the hard drive and is now struggling reinstalling the operating system. I'm gonna walk to Circle K, grab him his favorite snack, and hopefully give him some nourishment. Since you've resorted to primitive entertainment, I'm guessing there's no resolve with the computer. It is tiny. I don't know if they're like a thing in Japan, but these are awesome. I want one. We camped at the Cyclist Sanctuary last night over there, but this is actually the Cyclist Sanctuary where there's a beautiful view of the bridge, some sort of stone structure, and they actually have designated photo ops. Features that each one has a different position to put your bicycle in. I haven't named my bike yet. What should I name my bike? Anyways, I don't have a name for my bike yet. If you can think of a good name for the bike, let me know. Let's take some pics for Instagram. This is the famous spot to take pictures. Rocks, bridges, and bikes, baby. Cody's got the brilliant idea to like climb on every single structure we take pictures for. So he's gonna do that right now. There, you could even go higher to the top. What do you mean, can I, yeah, I could get you a frame. You can be next to the bridge. It's a little bit of work to take pictures. It puts us in a kind of a fun mood for the day. The afternoon has rolled around. The Instagram photo shoot is over. It's time to knock out some kilometers. We did ride 51 kilometers yesterday, just in case you're interested. <laughs> But sun, blue skies on the Shimanari Kaido, world famous cycling path. We didn't even plan to be here. We just kind of landed here following the japancycling.org route. If cycling paths can even be described as class acts, this is a class act. It's so popular here. There's just like hundreds of cyclists touring, day trips, whatever, coming along this path, the chain of islands in Japan. There's also a Japanese anime about it called Long Rider. I'll put a link to that series in the description. It actually talks a lot about places along this route, Cycling in general. I'm actually gonna watch it when I get back into the States. If you're interested in anime, cycling, Japan, you want to check it out. Boom! Snack of the day. Today's snack of the day is brought to you by Super Mario Brothers. Colorful rainbow Super Mario packaging. 
notable characters on there. Even Boo and Goomba I think I got this for a dollar from Daiso. Looks and feels like gummies. And I'm pretty depleted of calories here on the cycling route, so we are going to be treating these like gel packs. Actually, it smells like big league chew. It's the bubble gum they used to sell at the baseball fields when I was growing up. Imitated a package of tobacco. I actually don't think that they sell it anymore. And that's what it smells like. It isn't a resealable top. I really hope these are not vitamins, because I'm probably gonna eat the whole package today. They are shaped like little Mario characters. That's a star, Mario head, question mark blocks. Flavor actually isn't that good. Not an awful snack, not an amazing snack. Snack of the day was a semi-success, but I'm not gonna get this again. Yo, you wanna try snack of the day? You can have nightmares of Mario coming at you. The water is really, really clear. I'm so actually really surprised how clear this water is. It's, uh, it's not that, uh, it's pretty cold. Probably in the 60s. Maybe the low 70s, I don't know. It's a pretty color though, very, very, very pretty color. Another shipbuilding facility over there talking about a niche market. I've never heard of a dolphin farm, but this is a dolphin farm. They just sprout up out of the ground and they're just really happy that they're in Japan. Just in case you feel like swimming with dolphins, they do have a dolphin farm. I was talking with Cody about what his thoughts were on this cycling route. It is nice. It is very well manicured. The routes are absolutely stunning. It's extremely cycle culture oriented, touring oriented, lots of campsites, lots of parks, beaches, water fill ups, showers, food, amenities, everything, right? It's nice. But there is that feeling of tourism where it's like everyone is cycling you're just another cyclist you're just another tour or whatever something that Julius told me yesterday that makes a lot of sense is he said that Japanese people they don't own a lot of camping gear they don't own a lot of cycling gear a very space restricted especially in the high populated areas like Tokyo Osaka Nagoya they rent a lot they rent the cycling gear they rent the camping gear it's actually cheaper and more efficient to rent it. So I thought that was interesting because we've been seeing a lot of cycle renting shops here. We have made it to Imabari, which is the last city in the Shimanami Kaido cycling route. The last part was epic. There's S turns during the descent. I would show everybody with some B-roll if my GoPro wasn't dead. I'm gonna try to find a camera shop and buy a new GoPro. It might be a couple of days till I can find one. But we are now on Shikoku, the island, which is smaller than Honshu, but it's still a main island of Japan. I think it's around six o'clock. We've only ridden about 30 Ks today. The route is epic. They have bicycle rentals that you can do from the beginning and drop off at the end if you wanna do that. If you bring your own bike, you can do that, of course. Totally recommend it. A bit touristy at times. The accommodations to cycling are top notch. It really is. It really is a nice section of the ride. The whole section is only 75K, so be aware of that. It's not a multi-day thing. We took two days to do it, but you totally could do it in a day or half of a day if you're cycling like crazy. I think we're gonna go grab some dinner and then uh, find a place to sleep, you know? Didn't get too much sleep last night, need a little bit of that. Cody's working on a video. I am going to get some dinner at Jolly Pasta. Boom. So like most places, menu is in Japanese and you get a call button when you're ready to order. Pasta was great, Jolly Pasta was great. Um, it's kind of pricey, it was $11 for that dish. I could probably have eaten two of them, but I am calorie deficient. I've been losing some weight in Japan. I need to go find Cody and then go find a place to sleep. If you guys are enjoying this content, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have an encouraging comment, you wanna send us your travel prayers, please do. And I will talk to you guys in the morning, bye. Cody's computer's still broken. Good luck, dude, I'm going to bed. <laughs>